Welcome wellness warriors to this week's tip Tuesday. So now on today's episode, I'm going to give you five sleep mistakes that you may be making. And sometimes this happens, so stay tuned. We all value our sleep, which is why it can be incredibly frustrating when it takes us hours to fall asleep or even when we wake up multiple times throughout the night. I know that has happened to me and it's very, very frustrating. We probably know each other, but if we are meeting for the very first time, I am Dr. Wanda and I specialize in helping women over the age of 40 with metabolic and autoimmune conditions. Now, I help you better your health at the cellular level by reducing toxins, inflammation, and pain in as little as 30 days. So let's get right to it. Here are some sleep mistakes that you may be making that could be sabotaging your sleep. Now, the first one is having an inconsistent sleep schedule. Our circadian rhythm is the body's natural alarm clock. It alerts the body when it's time to sleep and when it's time to wake up. So having an inconsistent sleep schedule and going to bed at different times of the night can throw off your circadian rhythm. As a result of this, your body can no longer or no longer knows when it's time to go to sleep. It's just confused. I know it can be a challenge, but you should try to fall asleep at the same time every night. And that's regardless if it's on a weekend um, or uh, a weeknight. I know we go on vacation and we want to stay out later, but we got to get back on schedule. Number two is um, using your screens before bed. Now, when you're having trouble falling asleep, you might feel tempted to scroll through social media or binge watch on TV until you feel more tired. I am guilty of that. If you're guilty of that, put yes, I'm guilty in the comments. Unfortunately, using your screens Uh, such as your phone or laptop before bed can be a further negatively impact the ability to fall asleep. The blue light that's emitted from your screens stop your melatonin production, which is a sleep hormone, okay? The never-ending consumption of information and media, also it stimulates your brain, making it very difficult to uh, relax and slow down your thoughts. Instead, you might want to try putting your screen away at least an hour before bed and read a book and something pleasant, no scary book, something to relax you, okay? The third thing is intense exercise before bed. That is a no-go. While light exercise such as relaxing, walking, it can help you fall asleep faster. The opposite is true for intense strenuous exercise, okay? Okay. Intense, strenuous exercise before bed, it raises your heart rate. It gives you a boost of energy, which is not what you want. It makes it more difficult for you to relax and to fall asleep. It also increases your body temperature and leaves you feeling hot, which is not the optimal temp- temperature for sleep. So what you want to do is try to, um, uh, try to move those intense workouts to the morning or early afternoon instead and leaving your evenings more for you to relax, okay? If you are enjoying these tips, please click the link and subscribe button, the notification bell, and like this video and share it. I would really appreciate that, guys, trying to meet that goal for the month. So your support is great. Number four is too much caffeine late in the day, okay? Because caffeine stays in our bodies much longer than you might think. Caffeine is a stimulant, okay? Its job is to help you stay awake and alert per se, but not exactly what we're looking for when we want to go to sleep, okay? So even having an afternoon cup of coffee could be negatively affecting your quality of sleep. So give that a try. Cut the caffeine out by noon and see how your sleep uh, quality improves, okay? If you need a pick-me-up, you want to opt for something that's lower in caffeine, such as green tea, okay? You can make um, make sure that you stay hydrated throughout the day. So drink some water with some fruits. I have other videos that can help you with that. <clears throat> because you want to have a little energy, but you want it without the caffeine. Number five 
is not having a nurturing evening routine. We all need some kind of evening routine because do you feel like you collapse into bed once you finally checked everything off your to-do list for the day? I don't. I never get my to-do list done. But make it your mission to ease into sleep, okay? So find your balance um, of a perfect evening routine. You know, try to do that. That nurtures you and it guides you into a uh, more relaxing, okay, to us, and, and you can enjoy that better. Uh, this may take uh, some trial and error, truly, because you got to figure out what works for you. So you want to try different things until you find what really makes you fall asleep. If you're looking for some free resources, um, click the link below. You can also check out my book, The Wellness Lifestyle. Um, I give a few insights into the six wellness domains that I believe in. Get on a discovery call with me at Get Well with Wanda. And you guys know, I always say procrastination never met a goal. So go on over and check out some more videos. I will see you guys next week.